you are in a company, look for business units. If you are, talk to people in business units, I mean. If you are in a university, talk to people from other departments, your research colleagues, your postdocs, and so on. It's really important. I, de I guess you accelerate the process to find your research topic. You find out what's the current research challenges from other people, current research challenges for the company, what they think about it, what they tried and didn't work, what they think its potential can be applied, can be used in the future. So it's easier. Well, <laughs> they haven't really changed much, I'd say. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, starting a PhD was like writing a book from scratch. You have the title, right? Machine learning for wireless. And then you have the conclusion, something, make a contribution to the field. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> your journey is to basically write everything down and make your contribution to the science. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I guess my expectation from before was that, and it still is. It's basically doing something, uh, two things, okay? Something that you really like, exploring a research domain that, I mean, you are passionate about. And second, I mean, you are good at, which is also important. So, I guess, and these two things, they are aligned somehow, uh, I mean, making a contribution to your field, or scientific field is kind of a consequence. Yeah. Because you are just, at some point you are having fun and at some point you, you're good at what you do. So things just keep going and happening. So. Well, a key point during my PhD was when I first found out a good research topic. I mean, a research topic that I want to focus, that I wanted to really pursue. Because at the beginning it's a bit I would say uh, confusing, you're trying to explore something here, something else there, but when you find your, I mean, really the problem you want to pursue, that you want to solve, that, I mean, what to do, how to do, or something like that, that's when things start to be more concise, more objective, more rational, and that's, I would say, it was the biggest key point mm -hmm. <laughs> along my PhD, when I found out this topic and I found out this subject, what I want to do, how I want to do and so on and so forth. So, an advice I'd give to my younger self when I first started was to really avoid spending too much time just reading, making literature research out of papers only. If you are in a company, look for business units. If you are, talk to people in business units, I mean. If you are in a university, talk to people from other departments, your research colleagues, your postdocs, and so on. It's really important. I, I guess you accelerate the process to find your research topic. You find out what's the current research challenges from other people, current research challenges for the company, what they think about it, what they tried and didn't work, what they think its potential can be applied, can be used in the future. So it's easier. My research basically stands in the direction of goal-oriented communication. So basically it means that you want the context of value of the information to be taken into account when communicating some message within another process, for example, a robotic process. So we search for a kind of 100% integration between two different entities, a communication system and a robotic system. And this has the potential, for example, to be applied in fully automated factory machines that we have 5G or even 6G connections, which is basically the potential for future mobile 6G generation to be applied this technology, where this fully automation make it possible to, for example, very uh, applications which are critical, sensitive to latency, they can be, for the first time, wireless adapted. So far, we can even use Optic fibers, as the communication is very critical, it must be very fast and low latency, no errors. And this has a kind of opportunity to, the, for the first time, use wireless technology. And because of that, we can have full mobility of the whole factory, a lot of gains in terms of optimization, and so on and so forth. Uh, well, I'm in a very advanced conversations with Bosch. 
corporate research. They want me basically to keep doing what I was doing during my PhD, but now as a full-time researcher. So very probably I'll be working uh, in automobile automo automobile technology uh, using 5G, 6G uh, inside cars, maybe. So I'll be a researcher in that perspective, in that area, in the future.